not about sending messages. It's about riding the hot hand. And, and sometimes coaching comes right down to just the feel for the game. And both these coaches do a good job of it. You see this exceptional replay package coming right at you here. Chris Compton's there with a huge swat. That was pathetic. That got 2,400 strong off their feet. And Quinnell Brown hanging and banging, getting the two point. Leading scores for both teams are seven points of highlights, and this has been a quality game in the NBL. Absolutely, and we also talked a little bit about Quinnell Brown, the uh, league MVP, nine points, leading all express scorers in the first quarter. So, JK, you know. Quinnell Brown stepping up in a big game situation and uh, trying to, you know, stop the rain as we see him right there. Easy jumper in the lane and then playing some defense there. Kevin Young just getting the best one, but we talked about who will stop the rain and it looks like it's Quinnell Brown. Pass that the rain men have been able to do in the first quarter. The rain men, that's their moniker right there. There's their signature. They're going to find a way to get it to the rim. Draw fouls or find, or find easy baskets, and boy, they've been consistent on that. This is what we need to see more of, the mighty Quinn getting to the basket. So, but if what, what predicates a lot of this is there was 46 attempts by the Rain Men finding ways to get the ball to the basket, and only 32 field Great job by the Windsor Express clawing and gutting their way back into this game. It was all Rain Men early in the first half. Kyle, again, just can't get it going. McMorrow has been a big factor in the paint for the Rain Men. But then Tony Bennett, a couple quick points. On to getting in on the scoring as well. Leading scorers in the contest. Three players in double fear. Figures Lee McMorrow has 10. And that goes along with Ayanda. The Express kind of went into Dodo land. And boy, the visitors from Halifax, those Blue Nolters found a way to take advantage of it, but could not sustain it into the third quarter. Take a look at this package, the action coming right at you here. And we're just going to let you watch this package full of highlights. Great action in the second half. That's the opening basket of the second half right there. Base. And then McMorrow. Up and to that three pointer by. Gives it to Andu. Trouble dribble. A yes, double it is. dribble. Unbelievable. That's like the first mistake he's made all game. That's unbelievable. It's got 59 foul shots and they made 46. Andu, no good on the triple. Two, one. And the express. Keep the train going. Game seven going to be coming your way Thursday night from the WFCU Center. I would suggest to get here early. The lineups will be long. The parking lot will be full. If it's anything like last year's championship, oh boy, the belief factor is alive in Wind City. The mayor knows it. We know it.